decided he was going to run away from his troubles. He was giddy as a lark as he danced along the fence, but he wouldn't have been so happy if he'd have known what he was heading into, for he was walking right into a trap that old Brer Fox had set for him, a rope trap hanging from a little tree by the fence. When anybody stepped in the trap, sing, the rope would catch the poor critter around the leg and pull him right up in the tree, leaving him hanging there helpless. And that's just what happened to Brer Rabbit as he danced along the fence all of a sudden like... Well, there he was, all wrapped up in that rope, a hanging and a swinging twixt the heavens and earth. Hey, 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 let me out of this noose, let me out! First, Br'er Rabbit was scared he gonna fall, and then he's scared he ain't gonna fall. He knows somebody caught him all right, and he sort of specs he knows who that somebody is. And shown up, way up on Chickapin Hill where he lived, who should hear the ruckus but old Br'er Fox. And when that old scamp see he done caught Br'er Rabbit, well, he holler out, I got him, I got him, I sure got him. I got the little rabbit this time for sure. <laughs> I sure has got him. Down old Brel Fox goes to get his axe a-sharpened up on the grindstone. A boy goes after poor little Brel Rabbit. Now, Brel Rabbit being little and without much strength, he's supposed to use his head instead of his foot. And while Brel Fox is up on the hill sharpening up his axe, that's exactly what he's starting to do when he hears old Brel Bear. I'm ambling down the road. Uh, howdy, Bear Bear. How do you do? Bear, what you doing hanging up there in that tree, Bear Rabbit? I was keeping the crows out of the cornfield. Farmer Brown done paid me a dollar a minute for scaring the crows away from his crop. Oh. Would you like to make a dollar a minute, Bear Bear? You know, you'd make a mighty fine scarecrow. Oh. I, I, I couldn't take your job, Br'er Rabbit. Br'er Rabbit took another look down the road, and coming like the wind on a nasty day was old Br'er Fox. So Br'er Rabbit act fast. Next thing you know, before you could count the feathers in a robin's tail, Br'er Rabbit had talked Br'er Bear into untying him from the tree and tying himself up there instead. And now, a hanging and a swinging on the rope, just as happy as can be, was big old Brother Bear himself. <laughs> but next thing you know, old Brother Fox a huffing and a puffing like I never seen him was over the hill and a scooting right up to the trap. But just in time, Brother Rabbit got away. Old Fox, he was mad. I, 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 what's doing in my trap, Brother Bear? Zip, but did do the Ah, fix you, yes, I'm gonna fix you, I'm gonna chop you down, yes, I'm gonna chop you down, that's what I'm gonna do. And Brother Fox took his sharp axe and went to chopping at the tree Brother Bear was hanging from. Mm, you big fool, catching you in my trap just when I had that little rascal all caught and tied. By that time, Brother Fox had the tree almost chopped through when... Uh, I guess 
the must have been. Then, Br'er Rabbit, who had been hiding behind a tree, started to laugh. <laughs> See that? Brer Rabbit done made a fool out you. He tricked you and let him out of my trap. Yes? Well, I'm just gonna knock his head clean off. No, he ain't. No, he ain't. No, he ain't. You keep out of this. You keep out of this. Now, he's mine. Then they both let out after Brer Rabbit. And Brer Rabbit, who could run faster than either one of them, took his foot in his hand and put out for home, back to his briar patch. <laughs> so you see, children, ain't no use trying to run away from trouble. <laughs> zippity do da zippity Mr. Johnny? How do you do? Fine, how are you? Well, that's one of old Brim Rabbit songs there. <laughs> sure, I know that one. How do you do? Ain't the sun shining brightly? How do you do? Ain't the breeze blowing lightly? I'm telling you, while I step kind of sprightly, feeling fine, sure as you born. How do you do? It's a great day you see, and how do you do? It's a great world to be in. That hummingbird singing with all its might. Get an eyeful of that painted sky. Ain't it a wonderful sight? Oh, how do you do? Ain't the sun shining brightly? How do you do? Ain't the breeze blowing lightly? I'm telling you, while I step kind of sprightly, feeling fine, sure as you're born. <laughs> I expect you children all know the story about Br'er Rabbit and the Tar Baby. I don't know that one. Me neither, Uncle Raymond. Please tell us. Well, bless me. You gonna hear it right now. Well, sir, once upon a time, not your time nor yet my time, way up on Chickapin Hill at the edge of the big woods, old Br'er Fox was talking to Br'er Bear, and he was just waiting for Br'er Rabbit to come along. The hay. What you so excited about, hmm, Br'er Fox? I rolled my tar baby. That's just what I was doing. I was rolling the tar baby. Br'er Fox was making a little boy out of some black sticky tar. I'm going to show Br'er Rabbit who the smartest is. I show him the tar baby going to do the rest. It's sure going to fool him. <laughs> he going to make us real. Uh, he ain't going to fool nobody. The tar baby, he ain't got no eyes. Oh, yes. Sure, I'm glad I, I'm glad I saw that. Say, Brother Bear, you want these buttons on your coat? Why, uh, buttons? Ah, uh, thanks, Brother Bear. These buttons make mighty fine eyes. Uh, it ain't got no hair. Hair? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll fix that. Uh, hey, I let, let, let go of my hair. <laughs> Ouch! Well, sir? Brother Fox and Brother Bear put the tall baby right in the middle of the road. Then they hid in the bushes waiting for Brother Rabbit to come along. They didn't have to wait long, because down the road he come, scamping along just as happy as a jaybird. Brother Rabbit, he sees the tall baby sitting on the road and takes a good look at it. He didn't know it was made of tar. He thought it was a real baby. Uh, good morning. How you come on? Brother Rabbit, he gets mad when the baby don't answer. If you don't say a howdy time I count three, I'm going to bust you wide open. One, two, two and a half. Still, he don't say nothing. And Brer Fox, he lay low. Three. And he let go. Hitting the tar baby plumb in the middle of the face. But all that happens is Brer Rabbit's fist gets stuck tight to the tar baby. And with that, Br'er Rabbit, he hits him and he shoves him, pushes him to and fro, 
But the more he does, the more he gets all mixed up in the black sticky tar till he's covered from hind leg to nose whiskers and he can't even move. Yes, by that time, Brer Fox and old Brer Bear come out of hiding, laughing at poor little Brer Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brer, yeah, Brer, what you gonna do, Tony? What you gonna why, do? Why, I'm gonna knock your head clean off. Oh, no, 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 Brer Bear, don't do that. <laughs> go, go ahead, Brer Bear, knock my head clean off, but don't fling me in that briar path. I know, wait a minute, I know. I specs, I specs maybe I'll skin ya. Go ahead and skim if you like, but, but, but there's one thing I don't want you to do. Huh? What's that? Whatever you do, Bird Fox, whatever you do, please, Bird Fox, don't fling me in that briar patch. Uh-huh, briar patch, eh? Lots of nice big thorns in there. The thorns would pull you all apart, wouldn't they? <laughs> yes, I sure am glad I thought of that. Please, please, please don't fling me in there. Uh-huh, right in the briar patch you's going, right in the middle where the thorns are the sharpest. Here you go, Brad Rabbit, here you go. Let me go, let me go! Good shot. Right in the middle. <laughs> hey, who, who that laughing down there? Look at that, that's Brad Rabbit. Bone and bread in the bride patch. I was born and bread in the bride patch. Don't mind the song, cause they don't stick. I guess I fooled you, old fox. I was mighty slick. Duh, I, I told you, bro, fox, what we should have done. Now, bro, I'm gonna do it to you. I'm gonna knock your head clean off. No, 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 Batman, please don't do that. No, please knock don't do it. I didn't mean to do it. I showed this. I did. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes, sir. That's the story of Br'er Rabbit and the Tar Baby. And it sure proves one thing. If you ain't quick enough to use your foot, then start using your head. Because most times, the little fella can beat the big fella if he sits himself to thinking that way. <laughs> it sure is the truth. <laughs> If you like to laugh, and who of you don't, then just come along with me. I don't remember just exactly when this year story happened, <laughs> but I do remember hearing the laughing all over the place. Well, sir, seems like, as usual, Br'er Rabbit had more troubles than all of us rolled into one. Yes, sir, that was Br'er Rabbit, way down in Br'er Fox's cave where the fire was crackling and he was so tied up with rope he could hardly twitch his nose. Old Brother Fox was licking his chops, while old Brother Bear, he just sat there with his club in his hand, a waving it at the head of old little Bear Rabbit. Uh, let me just knock his head clean off. Now, sir, now, sir, this time I'm going to take care of the show. Well, Bear Rabbit, I've got you all nice and tied up now. The fire's cracking hot, huh? and you was all dressed for dinner. <laughs> yes, yes, sir, we're going to have you for dinner. <laughs> oh, what you laughing about, Bear Rabbit? <laughs> Something must be awful funny, hmm, Bear Fox? Oh, what you laughing about? This ain't no laughing matter. <laughs> I just can't help laughing, Bear Fox. Just where is your laughing place at, hmm? <laughs> now, now, how can I show you where it is? But I was all tied up like a ship, Bird Man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I'll untie it. Oh, no, you don't, no, you don't. Keep the big old paws off of your hair. He's mine, and I'm going to roast him. Uh, give him. Or oh, I'll just have to knock your head clean off. <laughs> Well, sir, old old fox knew it. Br'er Bear had untied Br'er Rabbit, and the three of them was marching through the woods on their way to the laughing place with Br'er Fox holding on to a rope 
around Br'er Rabbit's neck. <laughs> and that little bodacious rabbit critter was singing like he'd never done sung before. <laughs> into the bushes where Br'er Rabbit had said was his laughing place. They wasn't gone no more in a minute or less when all of a sudden, Brother Bear comes rushing out and starts to yell at Br'er Rabbit. There ain't nothing in there except the hive of bees. <laughs> Try to outrun that hive of angry bees. While Br'er Rabbit, he just sat there on that old stump and laughed his head off. <laughs> yes, Mr. Chiller, I expect everybody's got their laughing place. The trouble is, most folks won't take time to go look for it. I don't exactly know where yours is, but I know where mine is. Because you see, where well, there's a laughing place for one, it might not be where it is for another. No, sir. <laughs> Uncle Johnny, I want to go look for my laughing place. Me too, Uncle Johnny. Me too. Well, kids, I wouldn't mind finding my own. Let's go. Good luck, folks. I sure hope you find it. I sure do. Everybody has a laughing place, a laughing place to go ho ho. Take a frown, turn it upside down, and you'll find yours, I know ho ho. Everybody has a laughing place, laughing place to go ho ho ho. Find a grin, bring it right on in, and you'll find yours, I know ho ho. Ha 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 ho ho ho. About my laughing place. And yuck, 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 yuck. Everybody has a laughing place, a laughing place to go ho ho. Take a frown, turn it upside down, and you'll find yours, I know ho ho. Everybody has a laughing place, a laughing place to go ho ho. Take a frown, turn it upside down, and you'll find yours, I know. 